Hello everyone, I am Dattatra Nikam. Welcome you all on our channel eFunda, new day, new topic. And our today's topic is Vendor Document Engineering Review Part 70. As this is the last part of that complete series where procurement engineering is already done, where all the previous videos are shared in parts. And if you are new to our channel, then please visit to our channel eFunda and watch all the videos created related to the various topics of fundamental engineering, instrumentation and control discipline, deliverables, career, projects, telecommunication engineering and many others. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get latest notification on upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. So let's begin with our today's topic that is Vendor Document Engineering Review Part 17C. Project Procurement Engineering. As part of this topic, we have already created videos on Procurement Process Part 17, Tender Document or Material Requisition Part 17A, Technical Bid Evaluation that is TBE Part 17B and Vendor Document Engineering Review Part 17C is this video. Introduction to Vendor Document Engineering Review. The main purpose or objective of the Vendor Document Engineering Review is to align the received vendor documents or drawing with the requirement covered as part of the purchase order that is PO or technical specification as part of the assigned scope during proposal stage. The purchasers or client or design engineering consultant that is a DEC often define the type of document that a vendor must supply as part of the supply contract. The vendor document requirement or VDR is the list of those document types. Each line typically includes a document code, description and delivery time. Example, 10 days after the order. The VDR will also identify which code should appear in the document compilation like manufacturing record book, shipping dossier and the likewise. Similarly, the terms vendor document requirement that is a VDR and this list goes by many other names as well. One is a supplier document requirement that is SDR, seller data and drawing requirement that is SDDR, vendor data and document requirement that is a VDDR and supplier document requirement list that is SDRL etc. So vendor document submission is covered as part of this video we will see in detail. The technical review of a vendor document shall ensure that a vendor design is adequate for its purpose and complies with the latest issue of the company requisition and the latest issue of applicable company documents and authority requirement mentioned there in the specification. B. All the information which company requires to complete the work is a given including information required by the discipline not included in the routine. C. Instruction for erection, installation, commissioning, operation and maintenance covers the requirement as set of these documents and are reviewed by the specialist engineer that is the reviewing engineer who is handling the procurement engineering cycle. Similarly, the changes or the corrections shall be clearly marked with a constructive comment to ensure that both the vendor and the company can proceed with their work on the technical confirmation as the basis to proceed. All the comments on the vendor's document shall be identifiable in relation to the engineer who commented by means of the signature or a color code and if necessary additional comments can be made on a separate sheet equally identifiable and as an attachment to the vendor document to which they relate. Example, earlier days document submission was through the hard copies and now these days the document submission is almost through the soft file. Those files are uploaded on the server or the purchaser online portal. The changes which are essential are not essential for the proper function or approval by third parties of the item shall be avoided. In case of any doubt, the project manager must be consulted before finalizing the VDRs. Moving on to vendor communication requirement, here we will see some of the steps where we will see step by step 
for better understanding step 1 that is the initial stage submitting bids for the enquiry floated as part of the project requirement step 2 that is a review stage where evaluation of a vendor bids and the clarifications were done step 3 that is the final stage this is specifically covers the finalization of a vendor and confirmation of the documentation requirements for the final submissions from vendor here scope definition is very important to understand this specification covers the required engineering design manufacture installation and testing document that should be submitted to the clients in time for necessary review and approval the traditionally oil and gas project communication is rather complex so it is very important to finalize the documentation definitions of the scope and stage of the supply one can refer below pictures and the table one can see in the picture where online collaboration solutions is provided where it has been interfaced with the epc onshore epc offshore epc civil operations supplier consultant project manager operator this is how the multi-dimensional communication is done similarly for better understanding of the scope of supply one can refer to the table where design review stage manufacturing stage shipment closeout installation contract these are the steps are provided and the descriptions one can refer that is a general CAD a document a design review manufacturer shipment safety and environment QA inspection testing commissioning reliability and maintainability against this parameter evaluation response matrix is provided one can study this for better understanding step 4 Categories of a drawing document supplied by vendor or approval category listed by the client to DEC. A for approval. Vendor start working manufacturing on receiving approval from the purchaser. Example, equipment GA, package GA. B for information. For equipment, it's for better understanding clarity and to give the information as per inquired technical specification such as equipment sectional drawing, for example, that is for package item, it's a piping drawing, particularly the piping sections and details of the package item. Vendor to take care of the comments in the course of executing the work. C is for the reference. These type of drawings are required during operation maintenance such as the drawing for spare parts, operation and maintenance manual of individual equipments and items. These are the typical categories received vendor documents and accordingly requires approval similarly the step 5 that is a drawing review status and stamp once the documents from above categories are reviewed then one shall be ensure that complete review cycle information status is marked on the vendor document so similarly two types of the stamps here we have shown for example that is first time that is a review review as noted rejected revised and resubmitted submit specified item similarly in the other terms or other stamps it's approved rejected revised not received these are the stamps generally used one can refer to the organization specific stamps and their structure this is the stamps we have used as a reference this is how the complete vendor communication and requirements are being carried out as part of the vendor document engineering review and hope this video will help you to understand the vendor document review or the requirement. So keep watching our channel eFunda. With this, we are concluding on our today's topic. And you can find our channel details as follows. If you are new to our channel, that is our YouTube channel eFunda, then subscribe to our channel eFunda. And don't forget to press bell icon get latest notification of upload of our new video on our channel eFunda. Similarly, you can follow us on Instagram page. Similarly, you can follow us on our Facebook page as well. And keep watching our channel eFunda for various topics related to engineering and a project. With this, we can assure you this will help you to better your understanding on engineering and a project topic. Keep watching our channel eFunda. Thanks. Watch our channel for new day, new topic.